Following his shocking breakup with Taylor Swift, Joe Alwyn broke his silence and arrived in Milan, Italy on Sunday ahead of Fashion Week. When the 33-year-old actor arrived at his hotel, he talked to a group of people outside while wearing sunglasses and a baseball cap to protect his face. Joe, who is renowned for keeping details of his personal life secret, discussed his previous relationship with the 34-year-old pop star for the first time this week. He called their time together long, loving, and fully committed, in an interview with the Sunday Times style. After arriving in the fashion center of Italy, he was beaming and dressed casually in an oversized cardigan and a white t-shirt. Joe finished off his carefree look with some clunky trainers and a pair of navy blue pants. On Saturday, 14 months after it was initially made public, the Mary Queen of Scots actress talked about his spat with international superstar Taylor. He responded, In thinking on what I was going to say, I would think and hope that anyone and everyone can empathize, in response to the question of whether or not he had listened to her most recent album, The Tortured Poets Department, which is claimed to be about their breakup. Not really a response to your query, but I was simply considering what I could discuss. I sincerely hope that everyone can relate to and comprehend the challenges that accompany the termination of an extensive, affectionate, and totally dedicated partnership that spans more than six and a half years, Joe went on. The conversations with friends actor continued by acknowledging that it had been a hard thing to navigate for them to end their long-term relationship. Taylor has moved on with NFL player Travis Kelsey but has not yet addressed the split in public. Her only statements have been made through music, it is believed that several of the tracks on the tortured poets department are about Joe. Taylor sobs when she sings, I wish we could recall how we almost had it all, in the song, LOML. After dating for six years, it was formally reported in April of last year that Swift and Alwyn had called it quits. Since then, the singer-songwriter has moved on with tight end Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. She made headlines this month when she attended the Grammy Awards and took home the prizes for Best Pop Vocal Album and Album of the Year for Midnights. The celebrity revealed that she would be releasing her next album, The Tortured Poets Department, when accepting her first award of the evening for Pop Vocal Album. Following the unexpected disclosure, fans were soon persuaded that the album's title was a reference to Alwyn. The actor revealed in 2022 that he was a member of the Tortured Man Club, a WhatsApp group chat he participated in with close friends Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott. According to a source, Alwyn thought it would be shady if Taylor made fun of him in the Tortured Poets department after the album was announced. According to an individual who spoke exclusively to us, Joe has been completely respectful of Taylor and has not said one word about their breakup. There's no denying that her upcoming album's name alludes to Joe's group WhatsApp chat. The source went on, when they were together, Taylor knocked him for the name of this. She was naturally disturbed when he went out about it because she didn't want others to believe that it was related to her. Joe has no reason to believe that she is going to diss him or their relationship, the insider said, she employs references and codes in her writing about her history. He might be hoping it's nothing more than her thinking back on their time together. It's murky if it's a diss record. He assisted her in creating songs for her previous album, so if she discusses their breakup, he will be really surprised because he hasn't mentioned it at all. No matter what she does, he will not respond because he has removed himself from her narrative and is very glad he did, the person concluded.